Throughout his musical career, Jimi Hendrix created a number of rock anthems. He ultimately became a guitar legend and continues to have a big impact on guitarists all over the world. Hendrix exclusively performed live with his band experience for the first four years of his mainstream career. The guitarist regrettably had little opportunity to pursue a side project or play with another band. Many of Jimi Hendrix's admirers find it thrilling to witness him play live in a supergroup with other well-known artists. Sadly, because the guitarist passed away more than 50 years ago, it is no longer feasible. However, it transpires that Hendrix took part in a scheme to form a supergroup. Due to the fact that the arrangements were made just before Hendrix died, the guitarist was unable to join the group. Chas Chandler began looking for bandmates as soon as Jimi Hendrix arrived in London in order to showcase Hendrix's talents. Then he hired Mitch Mitchell as the drummer and Noel Redding as the bassist. The Jimi Hendrix experience was thus established. The guitarist's career began to take off after Chandler introduced Hendrix to Eric Clapton. The first three Hendrix albums, which were the guitarist's commercially most successful works, featured Mitchell on drums. The drummer continued to perform with Hendrix after the experience broke up. However, Keith Emerson and Greg Lake had an idea involving Mitchell and Hendrix during the early years of Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. ELP's founders, Emerson and Lake, discussed hiring Mitch Mitchell as their drummer. They expected Hendrix to join the group because Mitchell was supposed to bring him along. Despite the fact that they eventually settled on Carl Palmer as their drummer, it opened the prospect of Hendrix joining them to create the supergroup Help, which stood for Hendrix Emerson Lake Palmer. Prior to Palmer's arrival, Emerson and Lake had hoped to enter the studio with Hendrix and Mitchell, but the session never took place. On September 18, 1970, Jimi Hendrix passed away from hypoxia caused by a barbiturate. On the other hand, Mitchell carried on with his profession as a drummer for several artists. Therefore, we'll never be able to hear how they may have sounded with Hendrix and his unique guitar style. Did you enjoy this piece of classic rock history? We got loads more for you in our channel so go ahead and visit us, subscribe, hit that like button, and click that bell icon so you'll never run out of the best rock and roll content there is. So see you at the next one? Alright? Rock on!